that we all have desires, right? It comes with the human. The distinction and the difference between a human that's living an extraordinary life and a human that's living an ordinary life or a life of quiet desperation is where they're checking the box off from. Most humans go outside, in. And even those who are aware enough to say, oh, like buy me stage, right? We go into that Grant Cardone, that Gary Vee stage. Oh, I'm gonna hustle, hustle, hustle. I can go make this money. They're still a slave to the money. The money owns them, the job owns them, the woman owns them, the man owns them, the religion owns them. Every want, every desire goes under these three categories, approval, control, or security. Security, also known as safety. We, we talk about financial security, relational security. This is encoded in our DNA. Because if I don't feel safe, if I'm not safe, then a saber tooth tiger can come and get me. So therefore, my next process would be to have you approve of me, right? To want you to like, love, and, and belong to be a part of something. Because if you kick me out of the cave, then my chances of survival go down big time, right? Then, which leads us to the third, which is control, which is most of us are freaking control freaks. Even this conversation, I'm doing my best to not try to lead it. However, there is an aspect of my wounded ego that wants to look good, that wants to control how you guys perceive me. Right? So, so the game, and this goes back to inside out or outside in, because it's very subtle, right? It's big and it's subtle. The game is to learn like, oh, when I don't feel approved of, therefore I don't feel safe, I move into these control mechanisms where I try to control God, um, people, food, what I eat, what I wear, where I, where I live, everything. What my beard looks like, all of it is, an, is, a, is a tactic for you to like me so that I feel safe. But all of it is out there to hear. And the power is in going, ah, I accept that that's a part of the wiring that came with human. And let me do a fact check because most humans never fact check their lives. Now this is where we're going practical here, guys. What's true now? Okay, so I'm gonna go through those three again. Am I safe? Because going back to the a coward lives a thousand deaths, the mind can make you believe you're not safe when you actually are. Right now, am I safe? Hmm. To the best of my ability, I believe I am. Okay, so check. One checkmate for P. Not out there. I don't need it out there because I just checked it here. Do I approve of me? Do I? Am I a good person? Do I believe in my heart of hearts? that I'm doing the best that I can from where I can with the tools and consciousness I have available. Yes, okay, that's two. Now, now two times, now we're talking about two, two of the biggest things I am now checking from the inside out, not over there. Number three is everything that can be in control, can being the operative word. Some things we do need to control, but not all of them. Hmm, let's see. Did I brush my teeth? Yes. Did I uh, put on underwear? Yep. Control that. Cool, cool, cool. Am I positioning myself to give my gifts to the world? Yep, control that. Fantastic. So all three boxes, the most major ones in the whole world, are checked off from here to there, not there to here. I'm telling you, if you work with that alone, this distinction will change your life forever.